My name is Todd Barron. I'm the director of pancreatic biliary endoscopy, professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. The book that we've written, ERCP, is now in its second edition. And our initial edition, the first edition, was published in 2008. And we feel now, like we felt then, that this is an important topic for a lot of people. We tried to make our book different from previous ERCP books in several aspects. Most of the prior ERCP textbooks focused on the techniques and technical aspects of performing ERCP. We do that, uh, but in addition, we try to, and I think we have achieved the ability to integrate ERCP with other modalities, both invasive and non-invasive. Specifically, the integration of ERCP with magnetic resonance imaging, uh, both MRI of the abdomen and magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography uh, with surgery. And we also decided to make distinct clinical problems and approaches to problems to help clinicians in using ERCP in the appropriate manner so that we have, again, chapters that are specifically related to common problems and not just the procedure itself, and then how ERCP integrates with other modalities in terms of trying to solve that problem. Well, I think the other thing that our publication has the field is the fact that it is has many, many images, both medical illustration images, um, endoscopic images, and radiologic images. And the feedback we have received from authors for the first edition, as well as some of the authors who have seen the second edition, really feel that adds a lot to the learning and experience of ERCP. In addition, we have uh, a variety of videos, predominantly therapeutic videos, on the use of ERCP, which I believe adds to the book and is unique from other textbooks on the market. Our primary audience for this book is trainees and fellows in particular who are wanting to learn ERCP. And the types of fellows generally that would benefit the most are fellows that are within an advanced endoscopy program that is a separate year of advanced endoscopy. But it also could be fellows in any aspect of your, uh, either endoscopy or gastroenterology who have an interest in ERCP. The other audience would be those uh, who perform ERCP that want to improve their ERCP skills or those who formerly performed ERCP but want to get back into ERCP and really refresh uh, their, their knowledge and technical aspects of the uh, field uh, and really to find out what is the cutting edge now of ERCP that can help to move them forward. I wanted to write a textbook on ERCP for a long period of time, um, partly because I thought that there were things that um, I could add and my colleagues could add to the field of ERCP that maybe wasn't covered quite as clearly in other textbooks or had a new approach and a different approach to ERCP. The main reason, however, is just that my passion within endoscopy lies um, primarily within ERCP, and I thought that the enthusiasm that I like to believe that I bring to ERCP could be reflected in a textbook um, and then have others really learn these aspects and carry the tradition of ERCP and also bring the, um, the field themselves into perhaps new and different areas and inspire other people to do that.